In this video, I'm going to look at the Pixeloop app, which will enable you to animate your 360 Tiny Planet photos. So let's get straight to it and take a look. When you open up the Pixeloop app, you're presented with lots of different subscription levels and payment options, but you can clear that screen by clicking on the cross at the top left hand corner. There are lots more features when you subscribe, but you can still create some great animations for free for your first couple of photos. Click on the middle icon at the top to access your photos. You may have to enable photo access in your phone settings. In this video, we're going to look at the animate option, but there are lots of other features on the app. Select animate, then select the path icon. You can now draw an arrow or several arrows over certain parts of your image that you want to animate and it will animate in that direction. So for this sunrise photo, I want the water to move and I want the clouds to swirl slightly and I want the earth to move away from the main photo here. Now at first when you press play the entire image will look a mess because it's all moving but don't panic. If we select freeze and the paintbrush icon you can now select which parts of the photo that you don't want to move. And if you freeze too much you can select the eraser icon to unfreeze it. So in this photo I want me to be frozen and my reflection and the outside of the ball in the middle and all of the blackness around the edges. So the key when you animate your photos is to make it look as real as possible and to make sure that anything you animate is motivated so it has a reason to move. There are lots of objects that have a reason to move but the most obvious ones are clouds and water. Press play to preview and if you want to make finer adjustments you can pinch to zoom in. You can also define an area you want to animate by adding anchors. So select the anchor icon and then tap on the screen to add anchors around the area you want to animate. You can also select geometric to add a specific path to your animations. To remove any of the arrows or the anchors you simply select the remove icon and then tap on the line that you want to remove. You can also adjust the speed of your animation here. Finally you can select how you want your animation to loop by selecting the loop icon and then select blend, boomerang or pulse. If you use this app sensibly and the animation that you choose is motivated, then this will really bring your 360 photos to life. You can tag me in your animated 360 photos on Instagram at eatsleep360. For more 360 shots that you can try out with your 360 camera, you can take a look at one of these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.